Manchester United triumphs against Manchester City in the FA Cup final. No, I have to hold my hands up. In my preview, I said that Man City was going to beat us 3-1, but I was wrong on the day. Um, yeah, I wasn't convinced in my preview that we were going to win, but everything actually sway. Everything made me look foolish. Yes, me. Everything made me look foolish. You see, in that game, we tactically beat Manchester City. Yes, everything hog was the dominant figure in that game as manager. He beat Pep Guardiola. Pep Guardiola, as much passes as they made, side passes, you know, trying to reshuffle, trying to recycle position from goalkeeper to the midfielder, to the wingers, the wingers go back to the, to the midfielder, the midfielder go to the next winger, and the winger pass to the midfielder, midfield pass to the... We were effective when in position. What did I say in my preview? I said... Our best bullet to shoot, our best card to play is counter-attack. And that's what we did today. Because no way we're going to control possession. No way we're going to control the game. So the best way to neutralize Man City, at least attacking-wise, I'm going to get to defensive in a second, is to counter-attack. And that's what we did. Because if you notice, what is, what was our biggest... Uh, factor in terms of our advantage like what was the what was the advantage for us in that game especially in the first half our advantage i'll tell you our advantage was space city with a high defensive line they were you know going to the the, the center circle when we're talking that ball is either played to rashford or ganacho on the on on, on, on the wings and I don't know if I don't even know how McTominay was even starting. I didn't like that. I didn't even expect Rashford to start. But yeah, so when we gained possession of the ball, we were looking to counter attack, give it to Rashford, and he'll know, no way Rashford. This is a Rashford that is not really enthusiastic right now. So he's no way he's going to run out Kyle Walker. Because like I said in my preview, if there's one saving grace Kyle Walker has to his game, is his recovery pace. And he has that. In abundance, actually, for his concern in his age. So when we counter-attack them, we, look, we, 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 we especially a long balls, man, that leads to the first goal. Isn't me? Ball over the top. Govio, I don't know, you know, he was trying to be an up in our favor, of course, against Man City. Because him go ahead to, to the goalkeeper, he, tell, he went over there of the goalkeeper into Ganacho's path. And because of Ganacho's persistency, Fell to his feet, him go score at 1-0. I'm like, whoa, what's going on here? We're, in, we're 1-0 in front. What? Yes, man. Oh, let me say this. I'm all over the place. In this video as well, I'm going to be doing Manchester United season preview. So this is going to be quite lengthy. I just want to give you that disclaimer. So, yeah, man. 1-0 up. Ganacho. You know, um, again, we have been mostly quiet. Again, we're not going to control the game. You know that is not our, that's not part of our game. So we 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 try to drop back, and then when we gain possession, we counter attack. That was the, that was our best card. So that led to the first goal. Now the second goal. When we scored the second goal, I was quite shocked. I'm saying two nil to Man City, two nil to Man City. That's that's a lie. Two nil against Man. We lead in two nil against Man City. What the hell is going on here? No, here's a funny thing. This is how football is funny, you know. Let me tell you a funny thing about football. As much as Liverpool finish above us, as much as Arsenal finish above us, our, our Spurs, these three clubs would never get them two goals in the first half of no game. No game against Man City. No game. No game. But we managed to do that. In the Premier League, it's the same thing. That's how funny football is. You see, against uh, certain sides, Liverpool beat them sides. See? Against Man City, Man City has somewhat of a trouble beating Liverpool. But we beat Liverpool. We're not caught Liverpool in the FA Cup. You see that? So it goes to show, say, it's just who is better on the day. And I wouldn't even say position base were better on the day, but we were more effective than them. They could not ball since Jesus come, bro. We were better with ball possession in terms of effectiveness. I'm not talking about controlling the game. But anyway, first goal, um, Rashford played the ball to Gunnar on the right-hand side. These long balls I'm talking about, diagonal balls, uh, not balls, 
Ball. That's on. That's on. That's on. Did yourself. Ball to play to Gonacho. Gonacho, you know, dribble the ball inside. Pass to Bruno Fernandez. Bruno Fernandez in the hole. One time it's two, one times it to Kobe Mino. Kobe Mino made the third man run and he got the goal from midfield. He's run from midfield and his position is his position to get the goal in that position allowed him to score the goal and we are tuning up. See, bro, which side doing that in the Premier League against Man City in the first half? Hmm? And I don't want to be hearing, this is one of Man City's strongest sides. So that I don't want to be hearing, oh, this is Man City's second dude. Apart from the goalkeeper, that's their, that's, that's their strongest side. Enough story. That's their strongest side. You could argue that Akanji is not a regular star. I don't even watch Man City games apart from, you know, Man United playing against Man City. But I would like to think he's a, at least regular starter. If not Ake, then Ake will come on, you know. So it's not much of a difference. So it tuned it up in the first half. Second half. Now I thought that Man City was going to get back into the game. Um, which they did leading up to the consolation goal. They scored through Jeremy Doku. Jeremy, Jeremy Doku came on to add some pace and stability for them. But it was all for naught until like what the 80th, 77th minute they about. Doku go get, go cut go cut do let me say this about Anana. Uh, no. How you go get how you go allow this virgin to beat her to your post? How you go dude this it wasn't even a clean shot. And it wasn't even blessed with strength, man. It wasn't one of them Christian Ronaldo goals from 30 yards, man. It's one of them low I think it was a, yes, he he was going for goal. He, it was he, he didn't he didn't uh he wasn't looking to pass it, but he was actually shooting for goal. But I'm saying that at your near post, man, we're getting beaten at your near post, man. That 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 that, that should be saved. Even the hair, even a pass it prime, the hair would have saved that. This is me. So these are the mistakes. These are the mistakes we can't allow, man. Getting beat out our near post, but eventually, oh, let me say this: a couple of things before I get to the full time. Um, a couple of things I noticed in the game. Martinez started. Let me say this about Martinez. Bruno I know Bruno Fernandez is captain. Bruno Fernandez is the club captain, right? But if Bruno Fernandez is injured, God forbid, you know, if Bruno Fernandez is injured, if there's one player, if he's fit, if there's one player that should be captain, and that's Lissandro Martinez. This virgin is captain material written from head to toe. Gonna go score the goal. You know, I guess he was doing much of an over celebration. Saying, yeah, man, Manchester. He man said, man, tap in it. Go, 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 so. Yeah, you know, should be. Yeah, man, go, so, man. Go back, so. Yeah. So that just shows you the quality he has, man. And even when we lost possession, he's telling the defense, yo, so. Come back, man. Come back, man. And I'm saying, this bridging is captain. No, no offense to Varan, but. If I was just a new watcher of football and you would go tell me that one of these two centre backs won four Champions League and multiple trophies in them career, I would think it's Martinez though. Cause Varan, man, he's not as commanding as Martinez, man. No offense, bro. I would think Martinez is the one that won them trophies. If I was if I if I was like a newcomer to football, if I was watching football for the first time, and you go tell me say one of these two defenders won multiple trophies, four-time Champions League winner. I would say, by the looks of it, that Martinez won because Vron is not that commanding like he's that the vocal leader or, you know, that's Martinez. That's Martinez. So me argue that he's the second coming to name and Vidic. That's an argument. That's a debate. But the fact is, he's, he's captain. He's a, he's a captain, Matthew. He doesn't have to have this to be captain. He leads on the football pitch. Yeah, so yeah, so it just shows it just shows me what we have been missing, man. He's a commander, he's a leader. I would like to call him Tony Montana. Is it because uh yeah, he, he has that yeah, he has that he, I mean he's short, he's uh he's not Mexican, but he looks like Mex he looks he, he's from Argentina and Tony Martin uh Tony Martins. Tony Montana is not from uh 
uh, Mexico, but you know, he has that look about him. He's short, that spicy energy in him, as they would call it, dog in him. So, yeah, man, Tony Montana, man, Tony Martinez. So, yeah, that's uh, another, thing, another thing I noticed. I'm all over the place in the game as I wrap up is that we, I was. See, I'm, I I apologize. I've been all about the place. I said that I was going to talk about Manchester United's attacking advantage and defensive advantage. And I'm getting to the defensive advantage right now at the 10th minute and 30 seconds. So, we congested space for the most part against Man City. When they were in our half, we allowed them to come in our half. Like, even our striker was like uh, behind the ball. Everybody was behind the ball. Mactown was behind the ball. Uh, Hoyland when he came on was behind the ball we gave them the ball and they didn't do nothing with it really if it wasn't for that shot from Jerry Modoku God knows if they would equalize they have had chances yes they have had chances but they didn't turn up on the day you see me they were not they were not they didn't play their football against us they were they, they, the, the pass is the cut through passes that have been, you know, their main bread and butter for seasons didn't work today. Because we cut off that space. We were very defensively strong up until that goal we got considered at the near post. But apart from that, everything was smooth, man. In terms of our defensive structure. This me we caught we got caught out a few times, but nothing of fusion came off it for Man City. This is me. So that's where we had the defensive advantage. And yes, again, I repeat, everything Hogg is, is not a better manager than Pep Guardiola. But today, everything Hogg was a better manager than Pep Guardiola on the day in the FA Cup final. Because they neutralized how they played as a team. And it goes to show said Pep Guardiola was shook. Because like I said, he put on Doku at half time. Half time, not 60 minutes, half time. So that was a show of intent. Like he was saying, I can't be losing 2-0 to Man, Man United like at half time. No, I need to bring him on. I need to bring on my road runner. Put him on the left hand side. We need pace. So it shows that he was shook. He, need, he needed to make that decision, man. Yeah, so. Yeah, um, yeah, and and that 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 thing with uh, Martinez and uh, Kyle Walker, I didn't even see the full of it, but yeah, man, don't mess with Martinez, man. Don't mess with Tony Martinez, man. Tony Montana Martinez, don't be doing that, man. Don't be doing. Hey, this bridge is connected, man. Don't be doing that, man. It's just one phone call to to. Hey, just one phone call, you know. And whatever cartel is connected to, is going to whoop you up. But anyway. So, yeah, we win the FA Cup final. Now, I said this in my preview that if we win the FA Cup final, which we did, would it sway the board to keep everything I got Manchester United? Hmm? Because, like I said, Van Gaal won the FA Cup in 2016, in May of 2016. We won the FA Cup with everything I got in May of 2024. That's like eight years ago. That is eight years ago, actually. Yeah, that's surprising because I'm not even good at maths. Isn't me? So, and he lost and he got sucked. He got sucked. Now, I was thinking about it and I was saying to myself, he's going to stay. He's going to stay. And this is the reason why I say he's going to stay because the context of how Van Gaal was sacked was a, polit was a political decision. Because you have to remember, Jose Mourinho was an available manager. Yes, Van Gaal is uh, the mentor of Mourinho. But at the end of the day, Jose Mourinho is a bigger name than Van Gaal. Enough story. So the fact that Mourinho was available at the time. And, Manchester, and Man City has just uh, recruited Pep Guardiola at Man City at the time. The owners are saying to themselves, you know what? Let us bring back that El Clasico rivalry of, you know, Mourinho versus Pep, like what they had at uh, Real Madrid and Barca. It's a good look, you know, Man City versus uh, Manchester United. Man City with Pep, Manchester United with Josie, you know, so 
and they knew they knew it would make a lot of money. The rivalry, the what it would look on paper, Pep Guardiola versus um, Jose Mourinho. Is me that type of thing? So they said to themselves, "This is not only going to make us a lot of money, but it's the best move. Plus, he's a serial winner, so you get that as well." So the political move was that this virgin that just want to say FA Cup, that's Van Gaal eight years ago, he's going to get sacked. <laughs> he's going to get sacked. And he got sacked. And we're going to appoint Jose Mourinho. So now some person may say, are you, are you, are you, are you, are you inclining that if Jose Mourinho was available in the summer of 2016, that this bridging uh, Van Gaal, this Dutch manager, would have stayed at Manchester United. Yes, he would have stayed at Manchester United. The bridging just won an FA Cup and we finish like sixth place. If not, uh, yeah, we finish sixth place, which is not a bad return. This is we finish eighth, and we just won the FA Cup, and that's one of our worst seasons. But in our worst seasons, man, we won more. Uh, uh, our, we, we, uh, Arsenal beating them drums. Oh yes, you know we we come close to beating Man City. We 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 stuck with them to the the final day of the season. But you have no trophy to show for it though. Where your trophy at? Se second place, you know trophy. So where's the trophy, man? In our worst season, we go with more trophies than you. And you guys are known to 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 love winning the FA Cup, and we have won the FA Cup. Hmm? Everything has, has everything has more trophies than your manager, and your manager go finish second twice in a row. So, yeah, I just wanted to 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 uh to throw that again in Arsenal fans' faces. But the reality is that uh, going back to my main point, Van Gaal would have stayed if Mourinho wasn't available in the summer of twenty sixteen, because he just won the FA Cup, and we and we and we already had qualifications for the Europa League um so with everything out now I believe he's gonna say cuz what top manager is out there for us to recruit apart from Hansi Flick which might which may go to Barcelona who knows but if there is a top manager out there that is available to be recruited to a top club everything out may get the sack but as things stand right now you know, emotions are high. We just won the FA Cup. There's a good chance he's going to stay at Manchester United. He's not going to get sacked from Manchester United because Manchester United has him in a, a safety blanket, you know, until a proper manager is available in, this, in, the, in the summer. And then probably he'll get the sack. But right now, let's just say that uh, he's enjoying this, his spoils. He just won the FA Cup again. Um, he thinks that his, his job is secure, secure so that he doesn't get sucked. Bless his soul. But yeah, so let me know. Let me, hey, let me know what you think in the comment section below, man. I want to know what you guys genuinely think about. You think everything is going to get sucked despite winning the FA Cup? I want to know what you guys have to have to say about that. Um, what else? Um, before I get into the season review, um, hmm. oh yeah. Rafael Van Lott played his last game. I was surprised to not see Mar Anthony Martial play his last game. Um, Luke Shaw didn't even get a sniff of the, of the football pitch or even was on the bench. But, and these are players that we need to shuffle up, man. Um, which, which, is, which, which I'm going to talk into right now in terms of the season. Players that need to leave, players that need to stay. Outstanding players, underperforming players. The height of the, the height the highs and low of the season, that type of thing. So I'm gonna get into that right now. I want to finish this video under 40 minutes.